So welcome back to another episode of the things we want to see in FIFA 22. This is a show where you guys send in your submissions, we put them together, and we hope for the best. Today we're going to be talking about the AFC Champions League, creating new stadiums in the game, and of course some other important features we want to see in FIFA 22. If you want to contribute to the show, all you have to do is just leave a comment and you might get picked. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. The last time I checked, subscribing is free, so please do so and help the channel out. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins and you understand all the risks surrounding it, check out Mule Factory and use my code VAPEXFOOT for a 5% discount. So we've got two things here from channel member Chris that I want to talk about today. Number two and number four. The first one is going to be create a new stadium. Now, who thought when they saw the Foot 21 promo where you saw that Foot Stadium thing, you thought it was going to come to career mode? And of course... The way EA does things, there was like a 99% chance that was not coming to career mode this year. The priority is always foot straight away. Obviously, there should be some sort of creator stadium in the game. I've seen other games like NBA and stuff have a feature where you can create your stadium for your club. Pretty much people as well want to be able to upgrade the stadiums as well. This is something that needs to be in career mode these days. And especially if they're ever going to do a creator club sort of thing you'll need to have a create a new stadium feature in the game. I even see free football manager games on the mobile game store have created new stadium or upgrade your stadium features. And FIFA has nothing. Like, FIFA is like 10 years behind some mobile games in this area. Of course, you could also use create a new stadium as a feature for teams that don't actually have their stadium in the game. So let's say you've got a team from Australia. Obviously, there's no clubs in Australia that have their stadium in the game. You would be able to use create a new stadiums feature to just design a stadium that maybe could look close to what you see in real life or just something unique, you know, instead of using East Point Arena or I don't even know what the other names are called, but... You get my point, you know, you can use it for clubs that don't actually have their licensed stadium in the game. And then, of course, that stadium could transfer over to career mode. There's so much possibility here with creating a new stadium. It just baffles me why some of these things are not in a football game. So the other suggestion I wanted to talk about from Chris was the AFC Champions League. Now, if you didn't know what the AFC Champions League is, it's sort of like the UEFA Champions League, but for the Asian region. It also includes Australian clubs and all that kind of stuff. So... Apparently, this won't be in FIFA 22. We can confirm this already because AFC and Konami have signed a new sponsorship and licensing deal, and that was announced on the 25th of January 2021. So, very, very recently, and uh, yeah, there's no hope for the next couple of years. It says the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, today announced an expanded partnership renewal with Konami for the upcoming four year rights cycle that includes global sponsorship and licensing rights for both AFC national team and club competition. So, this is a four year multi year deal now. The global partnership encompasses major AFC competitions, including but not limited to the AFC Asian qualifiers, Road to Qatar. Asia's flagship national team competition, the AFC Asian Cup, which is set to take place in China in June 23, and the continent's pinnacle club competition, the AFC Champions League. The expansion of rights to include national team competitions will allow fans to play the AFC Asian Cup and the Asian World Cup qualifiers as official competition modes in future editions of Pro Evo Soccer. So PES 22 most likely will have uh, these uh, Road to Qatar things and also the AFC Asian Cup. The AFC Champions League competition mode will also be refreshed to carry the new look and feel following the recent launch of the new brand and identity for the competition. So that pretty much sums it all up, really. Four-year, multi-year deal, so come back when it's FIFA 27 time. So while we're here, we might as well see how the AFC license works in PES already. And uh, pretty much you have to go to the AFC Champions League license section and you've got clubs from this competition like Melbourne Victory, Perth Glory and Sydney FC. So even though you know the A-League is in FIFA and not in PES, you still get some of these licensing uh, deals because of the AFC part, you know. And um, you've also got some Chinese clubs as well. So there is a couple licenses that this AFC branding deal does, which is good for the game at least. And also when you play career mode, in PES, you can also use an AFC Championship club. But the problem is, as you can see on the top right, it says if you select a team from this category, you will need to choose which league you want to play in. You can choose to play in any of the Asian leagues. So let's say you play with Sydney FC. Obviously, they play in the A-League, but because the A-League's not in the game, you have to play in uh, the J1 League, the Toyota Thai League, or the Chinese Super League. Now, I do believe, though, as you can see, that there is a Champions League license there, which means if you play Master League in these competitions, you can play AFC Champions League games. So the license is good for the game, but obviously, Pez has it at the moment. FIFA is going to have to wait another four or five years to get this license. Next up, we have another interesting suggestion by Luke, and he goes, I would like to see FIFA Club World Cup. It would be another trophy to win, and it would be fun to play against other international teams 
EA have the FIFA license. Now, you would think the Club World Cup would be a, a feature that we would have in career mode by now, considering, you know, EA does have the FIFA license, but for some reason, it's not in the game. So let's dig a little bit deeper. Maybe we can come up with a reason why. We've got the Club World Cup here. If you didn't actually know about it, it's one of the biggest competitions for a club to win. That's the one where they get like the gold patch on the kit. At the moment, Bayern Munich is the champion. Real Madrid have won it four times. And this is how it works pretty much. So there's a playoff round and it's between the winners of the Oceania Champions League plus the host nations National League champions. So that's the playoff round. And then all the teams go into a quarterfinal round, which consists of the winners of the AFC Champions League, which is what we just spoke about, winners of the CONCACAF Champions League, winners of the CAF Champions League, which is the Confederation of African Football, and winners of the playoff round. Whoever wins that goes to the semi-final round, where they verse the winners of the Copa Libertadores and the winners of the Champions League, and the two winners of the quarterfinal round. And then they go into the final, and whoever wins, wins. But maybe there's a reason why EA hasn't done it. Maybe it's due to the lack of licenses. Like, I don't think we have many clubs from the Oceania region in the game, like a club from New Zealand or something. But if we take a look at the fundamentals, we've got the Champions League already. We've got the Copa Libertadores already. You could come up with a fake AFC Champions League. We've got enough clubs to fill that. You can do maybe a CONCACAF one as well. The CAF one, which is the African football. I don't know how many African clubs we've got in FIFA. I don't think there's many. And there's also not many Oceania clubs, if any, in the game at the moment. So that's probably where the bottleneck is like that's what stops EA from doing it but I don't want to make excuses because maybe there's a way to come up with some sort of thing but at the moment I'm blaming the licenses there could be another reason or it could be just pure laziness or something I would love to have a club world cup feature in the game especially because you win the champions league and then you can look forward to this club world cup tournament and then you can try and win that as well it just adds an extra layer and of course it would be cool for those people that play crew modes in different regions like in the chinese super league or something you could actually verse european clubs after in this tournament so it's good for everyone so next up we have a suggestion from insanity and they say in fifa 22 i would like to hear jamie carragher and gary neville as commentators oh man me personally, no. I know Derek Gray can get on people's nerves. I know people are sick of Martin Tyler, even though they got rid of him by now. So it's just Derek Gray in the game now for English people. Uh, Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville do not have the voices that would not annoy me. I know they're popular because they're on Sky Sports and stuff, and people see them every week on the TVs in England and stuff, but for me personally, I could not do their commentary while I'm playing FIFA. It just might annoy me a little bit too much. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it would annoy me, so probably not for me. But I mean, they just invested in Derek Ray, Lee Dixon anyway, and they've made them the primary commentators for FIFA 21, so I don't think they're going to switch commentators anytime soon in the EA games. And as always, I'd like to end every episode of this series with a player face suggestion. And today's one is going to be Eduardo Camavinga. This guy plays at Rene at the moment. He's got a 78 overall and an 89 potential in the game, but he hasn't got a real face. If you take a look at the Pez side of things, he does have a real face. And in FIFA, you'll notice many of these youngsters, they, they don't have real faces, but Pez always has them covered. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see FIFA start adding some more star heads or even just like custom faces for the youngsters because they're important in career mode. So that's pretty much it for this week's episode of the things we want to see in FIFA 22. We've got plenty more things to talk about, so make sure you stay tuned. If you enjoyed today's one, leave a like for me. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. It always helps when you do those things. And if you need something else to watch, please make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.